It's what we do right now to realign ourselves to the future that determines our success. A fellow at General Electric studied what happened with global organizations when we had previous periods of economic decline. He looked at what happened in the oil shock of the 70s and the downturn of the 80s, what happened with the 90s, what happened during the recession in 2000, 2001 with the dot-com bust. And what he found was that the approach that people and organizations and leaders took to the downturn determined their fate. 60% sort of muddled their way through. I'm not gonna do anything big and bold. I'm just gonna go into a waiting pattern. I'm gonna wait until there's signs of economic clarity. 30% didn't make it, but 10% became breakthrough performers because they specifically decided right now is the time to double down on innovation. You are hearing a magical story today of the opportunities, the technologies, the methodologies, the materials, the concepts, the digitization aspects which are coming to you. Are you gonna wait? Or are you gonna do what history has taught us? And what history has taught us is that those who innovate, those who double down on innovation, despite uncertainty, are those who win. Now, I shared this story on stage from 2008 to 2013 with organizations around the world. And I can look at my clients and I can see those who double down on innovation. And they were the ones who rode the largest economic boom that came through until last year. You have a choice right now. Are you gonna, are you gonna let this economic volatility cloud your decisions? Are you going to let it hold you back from pursuing the future? Because we know inevitably we're gonna see that you know, headline about an economic upturn. And let, let me put it another way. I was on stage right after Lehman Brothers went down, remember 2008, the day the market crashed? And I was on stage after the CEO of this organization, Compass Food Group. And the CEO said, look, we've got three choices. Number one, we can panic. Number two, we can do nothing. Or number three, we can choose to innovate, change, and adapt. And his message to his team is we are each going to go find our top 10, 20 clients, and we're gonna focus on them, and we're gonna say, what are we going to do to help you through this period of economic uncertainty? What are you gonna to do to double down in the future? Because history has taught us. I always like this quote, you know, it's impossible to succeed at economic development and be a pessimist. It's impossible to align yourself to the future if you're gonna let pessimism, pessimism be at the core of your existence. So put the headlines in perspective and remember what winners have done in the long term. The challenge is you need to get over any indecision that might exist as you align yourself to the reality of what comes next.